Madison. I'm trying to do ASMR. My timer is going off. I can't, it's too hard. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you're doing so, so well today. Yes, yes, ma'am. In today's mukbang, you guys, we are making a seafood boil. Now I know what you're thinking. Madison, you vegan vixen, you. You can't have a seafood boil. You're a vegan. Uh. <laughs> Anything you can eat, I can eat vegan. So I'm gonna show you how to make a vegan seafood boil. Yes. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I've already prepped my ingredients and they're boiling over there on the stove in the kitchen, which we will get into that later. But if you ask me, the best thing about a boil is the butter dipping sauce. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So that is what we are going to be making right now. And I'm so excited about this butter dipping sauce because my friend Dina at Eat Love Review, which I'm going to link her channel right here. Actually, I'm going to link her seafood boil video right here. She was eating this butter sauce that looked so freaking good. And I asked her for the recipe and she was telling me that this recipe comes with this stuff called Tom Tom sauce. And I couldn't find this stuff anywhere, not even on Amazon. And she's like, girl, I have it at Wegmans where I'm from Wegmans is that the store where it's from I don't know but <laughs> she was so kind to send me a package with the Tom Tom sauce in it I'm so excited so that is what we are going to be making today so she sent me the recipe which she actually didn't send me the recipe she sent me the ingredients that she put in there and she told me how to make it which I really appreciate because I don't like recipes and measurements because figure it out yourself you know what I'm saying so let's get started on the butter sauce also sorry about the shit lighting it's completely dark outside and it's 10 a.m. so okay so this is heating up we are going to be using the earth balance butter because the lighting is so bad I have my light on so bright so everything is just gonna be overexposed and shit so I'm really sorry but this butter is awesome I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the bottom oh it's already so hot no okay Oh my God, it's smoking so bad. Oh, I hate pans like this. Why am I not using my cast iron? I don't know. So into this little bit of butter, I'm going to put some onion and garlic. I have like four cloves of garlic and some diced onion. Now let's open this package. So cute, she said she addressed it. Madison, my vegan friend, <laughs> she sent that to my post, my um, PO box. I'm so excited. She said she put a surprise in here. She said she put a surprise in here for me too, but then she told me what it was. So <laughs> she's like, I can't, I can't do well with surprises. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh yeah. She said she sent me a cocoa butter or something like that. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Let's see what this is. Vegan treats bakery. Oh, this is, must be where she got the donuts. Yes. They send their donuts all over the place. They'll ship their donuts. Vegan treats bakery. Whipped body butter with lemongrass. Yes. Oh. Oh, speaking of, I need lemon. Oh, I gotta go get some. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Here is the Tom Tom sauce. It is a spicy Szechuan garlic sauce, chili garlic sauce. Oh. Oh, shit. It's oily. Oh, my God. It looks so good. Oh, shit. I got it all over my tablecloth. Okay, you guys, let me pause this for one second and do some damage control. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, well, now that I have sauce everywhere <coughs> and I kind of burned my garlic and onion, the show must go on, people. Okay, so I'm just going to take what's in here and put it into this pot. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use about half. I don't know. Is that enough? Okay, put that down there. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let this garlic and onion and the sauce kind of get to know each other a little bit, but not too much. Okay, calm down. I want it to burn. And then she said, I need onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, hot sauce, cayenne pepper, dry cilantro, bay leaves, which I don't have, and some Cajun seasoning. Oh, shit. Okay. Love, love. Y'all, with my dirty spoon, I'm just gonna dig right into my butter. Let's put some butter in there. Yum. Oh, she 
she was like, you're gonna need to use a lot of butter. It's like, no problem, girlfriend, yes. Okay, so I went and got a whole lemon and I squeezed a whole lemon in there and I went and got a pin and pinned up the girls because they were coming out to play and I said, this isn't about you. So I think we're done, okay. Oh. oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's move on to the seafood boil, yum! Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Oh, 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 I'm so excited, check it out. Okay, so let me explain everything that I have in here. So I have some onion that I boiled in there. I have some red potatoes that I cut into force, which I cooked for way too long, so they're super mushy and kind of stuck to everything else but that's okay and then some corn on the cob which you know i just peeled and cut into halves and then you guys look at this vegan shrimp what the heck is that girl let me tell you so there's a store here in austin it's an all vegan store called rabbit food grocery and they sell vegan king prawn shrimp <laughs> they said that they get these products from china it's all vegan shrimp and um i am so excited to try it this is what the packaging looks like i'm gonna tell you what's inside okay curdlin gum vegan gum konjac root powder paprika purified water brown sugar sea salt and vegan seasoning now i don't know what a lot of that is but as long as it's vegan I don't give a fuck. And then the last thing I have in here are some of the Frankfurter sausages that I just cut up and put in there also. <laughs> For the seasoning, I boiled it with this Jeffrey Michaels Original Cajun Breakdown. I don't know, it looked good. I went into the seafood aisle, which by the way, I never go into the meat aisle and the seafood aisle <coughs> smells so bad. Ooh, anyways, okay, so. <sighs> Let's get started. Okay, so all of this stuff has sunk to the bottom of my butter, so I'm gonna mix it up. This is gonna get really messy. I brought all my napkins with me. I brought lots and lots of paper towels. Okay, so I had to switch it around because I'm gonna be eating with my right hand and dipping like this. Oh, let's get into this. You guys, it's starting to pour outside. Oh my goodness, okay. All right. All right, so I'm super curious about this shrimp, so let's give it a try. Mm. Okay. Whoa. That's so weird. Okay, it doesn't have like the super shrimpy taste. I can kind of see where they're going with it, but the texture is so weird, weird, weirdly like shrimp. I mean, it's like, like chewy from what I can remember. Oh my goodness. That's so weird. Cool. Mm. Can you guys hear the rain? Oh my God. Holy shit. I mean, you dip anything in butter, it's gonna be amazing, right? Mm. Okay, the corn. Oh my goodness, can you guys see that rain? It is pouring outside. It is coming down hard. I mean, the rain is like sideways outside. Ooh, look at this. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Mm. Mm. hair back oh wow oh my god I don't even know what to say Get, hold on, I'll be right back. I had to get another little plate to eat over so I'm not leaning over the bowl of butter. Mm. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my God, this is the messiest thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> mm. Oh, the potato. <laughs> oh, the potato is so good. Oh, I have some shout outs, you guys. I need to get into that. Okay, come on. Oh, the butter's so warm and good. Mm. Oh, that shrimp is so interesting. I'm so impressed. Okay. Let's get into some shout outs, you guys. So I have two for today. I keep forgetting to do my shout outs, by the way. So. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. The first one is my dearest Kendall Cruz. Hi, Kendall. She's so sweet. She always leaves the sweetest comments. I think she asked me to do um, cakes once. Did you? I'm practicing my um, baking skills, you guys. I've been practicing how to do how to cook. I mean, I've been practicing how to bake because I have like no idea. It's not that I don't have any idea. I'm getting so messy. I don't care. It's just that. I don't like the um, precision involved in baking. Like, I feel like you have to have, like, all of your measurements and stuff precise, which I'm not very good at. I like to just throw whatever in there. I have food in my teeth. Oh, my goodness. So, Kendall, hey, girl. Thank you so much for being so supportive. You the shit, and you know it. My next shout out goes to Olivia Ingham. I love that name, Olivia. Such a good name. How you doing, girl? I hope you're doing so, so well today. You guys, I cannot believe how shitty the weather is today. I guess it's good. We need some, we need some rain. I'm so excited because, um, after all this downpour, the water in the green belt is gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. My brother's birthday is tomorrow. My brother's birthday party is tomorrow. And we're celebrating. Tomorrow's Saturday. This video is gonna come out later, but. We're going to have a Cinco de Mayo party tomorrow, but the weather is so shit. I wonder if it's going to be shit tomorrow, but my brother lives on, um, a bunch of land in the country. So we're going to go out there and he has parties all the time. And he like makes bonfires and stuff. But he always puts on the best party. And my sister-in-law is like the hostess with the mostest, okay? This chick. I'm serious. Uh, over the course of their marriage, it's like 11 years now, she's always putting on the best parties. And she always has everything, like, perfect. And everybody's always fed. And everybody has everything that they need. And everything is always so organized. And by the end of the party, let me tell you something. 
But at the end of every single time I've ever gone to a party with her or a party at my brother's in her house, this chick, I'm telling you, she has the entire kitchen and most of the house cleaned up by the end of the party. It doesn't matter if she's been taking tequila shots all damn night and beer bonging and she could be a sloppy soup sandwich. She has that kitchen clean. <laughs> I'm always like, girl, just take it easy. Like, calm down, come chill. And she's like, I got a job to do, boo. Mm. Not me. Whenever I have parties at my house, I'll clean up later. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. I like to chill and enjoy. Mm. 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 This is so damn good. Oh, I forgot about my plate. Whoops, there we go. I love corn on the cob. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> Ooh, look at this big piece of onion. Mm. That's all I can eat today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.